Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drahada. A few weeks ago, I walked into the living room and the TV was on and a movie was playing. And I could see a young-looking Kevin Costner and I could see baseball players in a field of corn. And I said, oh, if you build it, they will come because it was the field of dreams. And actually, that's a misquote. The actual quote from the movie is build it and he will come. Uh, referring to Ray Kinsella's father. But it's basically has become remembered, and most people remember that line as build it and they will come. That idea has been taken into business. Uh, many people say if you build something, build something impressive, build something that, that, that stretches you and people will come. And it's also been picked up a lot by churches. In fact, I'll be honest with you, over the years, I've heard that phrase used so often by pastors you'd almost think it was in the Bible, and it's not. The Bible doesn't say build it and they will come. And yet, so often, there is this idea in churches that if we can just build a nice enough building, if we just build a big enough building, if we just show enough faith in what we build, then the people will come. The Bible says something quite different. In Psalm 127 and verse 1, it says, Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain who build it. And I do believe this, that there has been much done in the Christian church that often has not borne fruit because we were operating on the principle of let's impress people. And if we build it, they will come. When what we really needed to do was allow the Lord to build the house. I remember whenever Eugene Peterson's translation of the New Testament, the message first came out, there was that passage where people are saying, Lord, we did this for you. And he says, depart from me. I never knew you. And I just will always remember the way Eugene Peterson had it, that they said to the Lord, but Lord, our God sponsored projects had everybody talking. The fact of the matter is, God does not want you to do God-sponsored projects that will have everyone talking. God wants to build the house. So often we view God as being one who comes along and rubber stamps our dreams and puts his seal of approval on them. And then we can build it and people will come and success will come and fame will come. But God wants to do something so much more. He wants to build something to his glory. And he wants to use your life and my life in order to do that. God is the builder. And God is building a house made of living stones, a living temple made of living stones. And those living stones are you and me. As long as we try to build our dreams, as long as we try to impress people, as long as we try to have our God-sponsored projects having everybody talking, we're not going to catch hold of what it is that God has for our life. Because ultimately, what God wants to do in your life is more impressive than the fanciest building in the world. Because the fanciest building in the world is still temporary. And one day will collapse into dust. But God is building something in your life that is eternal. God wants to build something in your life that will stand as a testimony to the power of God for all eternity. That all creation will look and see what God has done in you as a part of his church. And that's what's really worth building. That which the Lord is building in us. And you know what? If the Lord chooses to build in us something that produces buildings that produces ministries or anything else fair play that's grand but the main thing is not build it and they will come but let the lord build the house so that we do not labor in vain god bless you today join us again tomorrow for another take five your five minute inspirational message from solid rock drada